Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about form design aesthetics, customizing form field and button appearance in your Microsoft Access databases. Today's question comes from Jeanette from California, a developer student of mine since 2018. Jeanette says, my boss says my forms look too blocky. Is there a course that goes over form design for advanced developers? Jeanette actually posted this question in the Access Forum on my website, and I answered her there. I said, well, I have to say that personally, I've always been more interested in functionality over form. Sure, I like to make my forms look good, you know, well-spaced fields, good color scheme, readable fonts, etc. But aside from the basics, I never really went overboard making them look super pretty. Now, I did cover making some colored buttons and some different looking option groups and things like that in Access Expert Level 4. Now, looking over your uh, student account, I did notice you skipped Access Level 4. A lot of people do that. A lot of people will skip over some of the beginner or the, the low-level expert fields and they jump right to the developer stuff and then they realize later that they missed things like this. So there are some lessons on extended form design in those earlier expert levels. However, let me show you in this lesson a couple of things I didn't cover in Expert Level 4. For example, some custom form elements. Let me show you how to make some cool looking text boxes and labels that look like that. And then later on for the members for the extended cut, I'll show you how to do some custom buttons. But let's take a look at how to set something like this up. All right, so I decided to do a little Google search and I, I, I found some things that are kind of interesting here. Like for example, this look. I think that's a neat look. The question is, do you want to put this much effort into all of your fields. Now, if you have a small form with a few fields on it, sure, but if you want to create, let's create something like this, just to give you an idea of, yeah, you can pretty much do anything you want in Access. It's just how much effort do you want to put into it? All right, so I'm back here at my customer form. Uh, there's a lot of fields on this one, but let's uh, let's just do one of them and just show you some ideas here. Let me. I'm going to clear off a lot of this stuff because we don't need half of this stuff. Let's just go first name and last name. Actually, I'm just, I'm just going to do first name. <laughs> I'm only doing one of them, all right? So we want it to look, where's that other screen? We want it to look like that. Okay, so first thing we're going to start off with is a label that looks like that. All right, so this label is going to go above it. And let's say we got a cool background color here. Let's go with, uh, let's go with that purple. Now, this brings up another idea. Uh, Access doesn't have all the cool like if you look at this thing here it's got like a gradient access really doesn't have that in its standard colors and stuff but if you have any of the other office applications word powerpoint even excel you can insert objects or even screenshots of objects that can give you uh, that look and feel that you want they didn't give it to access i don't know why access is like the redheaded stepchild of the office family they didn't give basic the basic shapes that you can draw in uh, you know, Excel or PowerPoint. So let's open up something like Excel here real quick. If you've got Word or PowerPoint or Excel, use those. All right, here's Excel, blank sheet. Go to uh, Insert, Illustrations, Shapes. Pick a shape that you want, like a, a rectangle. Draw it out. All right, maybe about the, about the size of your form. Okay, go to Shape Fill. Um, you could pick a gradient or a texture. Again, I wish they would have put these features in Access, but they didn't. Let's go just with a gradient. And uh, let's do just a simple swipe down from the top, like this guy here. Uh, yeah, linear down. And you could change, obviously, right click, format shape. We can change the fill. We can adjust the colors. You want to get that purple that the other form had. Click on these little, these are little stops here. Uh, and again, I haven't covered this in my Access classes because it doesn't exist in Access, but in my Excel classes, I've covered it. Pick like the dark purple. And then down at the bottom, we'll pick a lighter purple. Let's see here. We'll do that, and then we'll... Oh, actually, that looks cool. Let's go with that. I like that. Now, how do we get this over into Access? Well, we just copy and paste it. All right, just click on it, copy, control C, and then slide over to Access, click on your form, and hit control V, and paste it in. There's your background now. Now, double-click on it, and make sure up here it says image, because sometimes, uh, depending on the object that you copy, it could bring it over as an actual OLE object. This says OLE Unbound 32, but it's it's really a bitmap image, uh, so don't worry about it too much. 
OLE objects or something for old support for uh, you should you can drop like uh, Word documents and, and Excel spreadsheets directly in your forms and you could double click on them and the, they'd open up in Word for example but I don't recommend using them there's a lot of problems with them that's a whole separate lesson though but this should come in as an image all right I'm just going to rename it my background image okay now we got to send this to the back right at the background so right click and then go to position and then send it back. Now it's behind everything. Okay. I'm gonna take customer ID off of here like that. Okay, let's slide this guy up here. Now we're trying to mimic, oop, I just moved my background image. Hang on, I'll slide that over like that, okay. We're trying to mimic, what, where's the thing again? That thing right there, okay. I don't know about the rounded, I mean, we could do rounded borders, but you could do it with, the rectangles that are built into access, but they don't have rounded borders. So first thing we do is make this white under format. I pick the standard colors. I try to stay away from the theme colors because these never change. If you change your theme, then those could change. This we need to make transparent. So double click on it. Actually, never mind. We can do that from up here. We can do this from drop this down. And no, can we make, oh, we can't make it transparent here. I'm See again, images and, and stuff like that in Excel, I get confused because you can make those transparent there. This, I believe we have to use the property sheet. So under format, yeah, under back style, you gotta pick transparent, there's that. You could still give it a background color though. And the background color that you give it is what you'll get when you click on it. All right, so now you gotta go back to background transparent. See, the back color will stay in there, but watch, let me save this now. When I come back in here, see when you're on it, oh, we need another field so we can tab away from it. Hold on. Design view. We do need another field. Let's just copy this and do last name. I'll put last name over here. Uh, data, last name, copy, paste, change this to last name. Okay. Close it, save it, open it back up. Okay, you'll see how it looks like that. All right, you'll, that white is what you get when you tab to it. And you could change that, even though the default is transparent. If you want something slightly more subtle, you could do, I gotta, now we gotta click on two things to make changes, properties. All right, format, background color. Um, oh, and back to no color, let's see here. Back color, let's try to make it this well we're gonna make the text white so let's do that as the background color and let's do the foreground color let's see here right here foreground color is white there we go okay now that we've changed the background color we have to sneak this back to transparent again because every time you try to change this it will change that back. All right, let's close this and reopen it now and see if we got what we want. Yeah, that's what, we, that's what I wanted. Okay. Design view. Open it back up again. Yeah, see, the back color went back to no color again. It's, it's weird. It stays in there, but that's one of those little access quirk bugs. All right, it's in there because you can see it's there when we tab to it. All right, let's make the borders transparent. Design view. I think we could do that from up here. See, I don't spend a ton, I mean, it seems like in my classes I spend a ton of time formatting, but I don't spend a lot of time going through all these weird uh, things. Okay, let's see, we can make transparent borders. All right, that should do that, let's see. Okay, transparent borders. And now we gotta put those little boxes around it. So the boxes, we can find those on here. There's the shape right there, rectangle. Draw a box like so. All right, we're going to right click, uh, positioning, send it back. We got to send that. Now we got to send this to back too. Position, send it back. Because I sent this to the back behind. You got to remember, there's an image in the background of the form. This. Let's see. What does our What does our example look like again? All right, it's white. So let's go white. Access. I think it already is white. Let's see. I'm having a hard time clicking on it now. Damn it. Okay. See, that's another thing. is When you put a background image back there, it gets kind of hard to work with things because it's in the way. So I'm going to slide it over there for a second. There. Sometimes it's hard to grab stuff. All right. So format uh, shape outline is going to be... I'm going to make it slightly less white. Let's make it like that color white. 
and actually I'm gonna make this the form background darker so we can just see what we're working with there that's even that's better and border with hairline solid border color all right let's see what this looks like Let me slide you back into place let's take a peek okay that's not bad now as far as this label goes yeah I know that's what it looks like there but that's that's gonna be really tricky we would have to make like a, a sliver of that gradient there and then put it behind the label I mean I think it would look just as good if we did let me move this out of the way again if we did something like this and just put it above it like that I think that would look just as sweet let's see of course I'll have to turn the borders and stuff off yeah I think that looks nice and of course put that back down where it belongs it came up with it let's see here yeah let me move this stuff all down slide down so I have some room to work here you get out of the way all right remember you can use the upper left corner to move stuff independent move the label independent of the text box there we go yeah I think that looks good design but I mean if you want to put it right over that border you can you just got to set the background color to kind of match and you got to make it not transparent so we'd have to do probably put a space in front of it too like that and then make your background color get it as close to that purple. See, there's no eyedropper either in access which kind of stinks you know get it as close to that purple as you can maybe there let's see that's not too bad I like it above it I'm gonna undo that I like it above it right there let me get rid of this it's gonna be easier to recreate this a second time once you get one of them perfect then copying it and just changing data sources isn't that bad in fact I'm gonna take this guy and make it just slightly less white I think that would look better as like an off gray yeah oh yeah there we go let's take this down here and bring the edge back in bring that bottom back up let's see what we got save it close it open it up again all right that's looking better I missed a spot over here though all right back to design view All right, now you got this pretty much gold. I'm gonna move this out of the way again. See, this, putting the background on is usually something I do last, right? Copy, paste, 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 and then we'll copy all this and paste it. Put it over here. I'm not changing all the labels. <laughs> you can go through change all the labels yourself if you want. <laughs> all right, make it look like that. Slide this over here like so. Do one of those. Do one of these. Uh, put a title up here if you want to make it look snazzy and then save it close it open it back up and there you go all right what's going on over here let's see it could be the record selector or the scroll bar let's take a look well for this particular form let's turn off the record selectors I'll leave the navigation buttons on we don't need scroll bars Let's close it and see what we got now. Okay, that's what it was. It's a little harder to see those labels in the center here where it's lighter colored. Let's switch that gradient up just one more time here. Design view. Let me get rid of that. Let me slide all these up just a little bit. All right, let's go back to Excel and modify this gradient. Let's get rid of that light white color in the center. Click there. Drop this down. Let's go dark purple. And actually, I'm going to get rid of that gradient stop. Click on it and hit delete. Let's change this gradient stop to just a li slightly lighter purple. Uh, hard to see. Let me slide my thing down here so you can see it better. Okay. And then we're going to go to that and then go to more colors. And then go just a slightly less dark like that. Yeah, that's better. That's what I want. Okay. Now I'm going to copy this. Go back to access. We'll paste that as the background. 
Yeah, that looks a lot better. And I don't know if I showed you this on the screen or not. I had to go to special effect on the background and change it to flat because I couldn't get it to look exactly the way I wanted it to look. Right click, position, send it back. Bring those edges in. Save it, close it, open it. And there we go. Looks a lot better, but different. I mean, you wanted something that looks different. So there you go. It's not the same standard access interface. Um, and again, if you want those rounded edges on there, you can do that. Excel has those, right? You can add that as a shape. Just go in here and, uh, you know, insert illustrations, go to shapes, find this guy, draw whatever you want in here is your border. All right, set up the uh, the shape fill, no fill. I mean, you can have the match it because you got a gradient in your background. Now you got to do some matching. Um, you know, the outline, make it white, and you got those those rounded borders like that. You could do. I would I, you know, I would go with this if you're gonna do all kinds of fancy stuff like this. I would go with a solid color as your background because that's gonna be hard to match the gradient going all the way down. Or, or here's another trick. You could even set this up. If you know exactly what fields you want to have on your on your access form, okay, you can even set this up as an image in here exactly as you want it with all of these, right? Copy, paste, paste, paste. Set these up however you want them in here. And I'm having a hard time. Let me move this out of the way. And now I can't see anything in the background. Okay, put that back. It's hard to grab these sometimes. Click, drag, put that over there. Click and drag, put that over there put that over there all right obviously you're gonna have to save this design layer somewhere then take the you know put the transparent labels on here if you want to with text boxes right insert illustration um, you could do a shape you could well you could do a standard text box and just draw it right here like this all right put first name okay Make this exactly the size you want it. You get more control in here too, because you can use the Alt key and you're not limited. Like in Access, you gotta stick everything on that grid. But like here now, I can say this fill can be transparent. So make this 100% transparent. All right, you can put that over that line if you wanna do that. Actually, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Or set it right there. All right, make the text light like that. The border's gotta go. Give me the border. Click. Okay. The line is 100% transparent like that. All right. Now set all these up the way you want them. Okay. And then screen capture with whatever screen capture tool you're using. Screen capture this. And then drop that in your access form as your background. Uh, design view. All right. Assume you don't have all this stuff. Let's move this all out of the way. All right, paste that there. Now that's now your background. Now all you literally have to do is take your text boxes only, right? Drop them where you want them. Uh, let's just send this to back. Right click, position, send it back. Get rid of the label in here because you've got a label already in your design element. See what I mean? There you go. Now you can have whatever fancy background you want. And when you open this thing up in form view, ignore the right stuff, ignore this, right? Now you got this. You could do whatever kind of colorful design you want and drop it as a background image. I actually kind of prefer this method. It's uh, harder to make changes down the line because you have to save this design element in Excel. But I've, I've done this before. I've, I've, I've actually used Word or PowerPoint to make background. I don't usually use Excel. It's the same, it's the same tools though. But you could do exactly that and then drop your, or Photoshop, if you're, a, if you're a graphic designer, do whatever you want. Drop it as an image in the back of your access form. And then all you have to do is place text boxes and other controls where you want them. But if this makes your, your form design look less blocky, then there you go. There's one alternative. Make things round. Unfortunately, these text boxes have to stay round. There are some limitations. <laughs> there, I just took a second in Excel and prettied that up a little bit. Oh, we got to make this last name there just took me a minute now I'll screen capture this again hyper snap really good program I've been using it for years you can select exactly what you want on the screen just like that there's tool, there's all kind of screen capture tools in Windows and in office too but I prefer hyper snap it's just what I've been using for years it's so much easier I'm going to delete this guy let's go design view look 
Okay, leave that there. I'm going to get rid of this. Actually, let's get rid of all of this stuff. No longer needed. Let's paste in my background. Yeah, right click, position, send it back, slide you up there. Line up my first name. I'm going to put it over to the right just a little bit. Like there, yep. Okay. Copy, paste. Whoops. Copy, paste, paste, paste. All right, first name. This will be next in the tab order, so we'll want you down here. Then you. Then you. And it might take you some time if you're doing your design in another program, like Photoshop or Word or whatever. It might take you some time because you got to make sure these things line up right with the grid. Now, you could change the grid elements, too. If you want to completely get rid of the grid, I wouldn't get rid of it completely, but if like this is too granular for you, Go to your form properties, and where is it? I, don't, I hardly ever change it, but it's under, well, I'll just go to all. Uh, right here, grid X, grid Y, 24 is the default. All right, but jack it up to 100 if you want to. Uh, I'm sorry, one through 64. See, I never changed these, so I, I hardly ever use them. I didn't know what the maxes were. All right, now it looks like you got no grid. It's still there, it's just extremely granular. So now you can move this pretty much anywhere you want in here. That might be too granular. Let's go to 48. Where'd it go? I lost them. Hold on. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> uh, 48. Even that, you're probably not going to see dots, but it's still closer. Yeah, that's that's better. Because you don't want to design this nice, cool interface, and then you can't, you know, your stuff doesn't line up to it. So just jack that way up to 64. That's how many dots per inch you get. All right, go back to that background image. Set it to flat. It just looks better. Get rid of that and get rid of this. Save it. Oh, actually, we gotta change these, right? There's last name. I'm not gonna rename them. I'm just gonna change the control sources. City, state. All right, good enough. And of course, I only did these four fields. Boom, and look at that. Much less blocky, and it looks really cool. Okay, so there you go. There's your there's your not blocky, pretty cool looking access form. It all depends on how much time you want to spend on developing that background. You know, because the controls are pretty much set. I mean, and you could change the fonts and all that stuff, but right. If you want to learn more about form design aesthetics, like colored buttons and stuff, and and those raised uh, option groups. I cover a lot more of that in my Access Expert Level 4 class. I'll put a link below the video. And members, I got some extra stuff for you. I'm going to show you how to create enhanced buttons. I'll show you how to put custom images on your buttons. That's not too hard. Then I'll show you how to make your own buttons using PNG images. And the benefit of using PNG is that, like GIFs, you can make transparent backgrounds. So these corners, these segments around the button image will be transparent. And then using your own button will make three slightly different versions of the button. So when you hover over it, you get those hover effects. Like the extended access buttons will do that when you hover over them. There's settings for that. I'll show you that. Those aren't that hard. But then I'll teach you how to make three slightly different versions of your button. And then we'll save those as images, put them in our form. So when we hover over the form, we get that hover effect. And when we click on it, you can see we get that click effect too. And it'll stay like that until we move off the button. See? It's kind of neat, right? Opens up the form. Click. See? That's custom button design. And yeah, you can use these two. These don't look anywhere near as neat, but you can do... I'm, I'm not a graphic designer, and I just do this together in about five minutes. So if you're big into Photoshop or any other kind of graphics design, you can make whatever cool-looking buttons you want. As you can see, it didn't take me hard to throw that together in a few minutes. And then we'll learn some VBA code to do the mouse hover effects with VB code. And then I'll teach you about on move events. How do you become a member? We'll click on that join button down below the video. You'll have access to my extended cut videos, all my silver members and up. I also do live video and chat sessions and there's other perks as well. You'll see the list of the perks if you click on the join button. But of course, the free tech help videos just like this one will keep coming. I'll keep making them as long as you keep watching them. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. Give me a little thumbs up. 
and share it if you think anybody in your circle will find this video interesting. And of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you like my videos, hit that little bell. You'll get notifications anytime I release a new one. This is completely free, of course. Make sure you check down below, hit the show more button. YouTube does a good job of hiding it, but it's down there. You'll find links to other videos and other things of information that are useful and related to this. If you have not yet checked out my free access level one class, watch it. I cover a lot of design tricks in there too. It's three hours long. If you're new to access, I strongly recommend it. And if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. And that's also free for my members. If you would like to see your question answered in a video like this one, visit my tech help page. There's the address. I'll put a link below. And also make sure to check out the forums on my website. This is where Jeanette posted today's question. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something and we'll see you next time.